In the spring of 2020, so few of us understood what was about to happen. When the full force of authoritarianism of the government made its way to our doorstep, there was something that happened inside so many of us. We were activated to the natural law of our lives. We knew fundamentally that something was dreadfully wrong about what had just happened, and we started to look for voices that could speak out about the injustice that was being forced upon the people of the world. As we watched our businesses close, our schools shut down, our children retreat into isolation, we became desperate for the ability to stand up and shout about the harm and evil that was encapsulating our lives. That's when my family found your voice. It was a sea change moment for me. All of the presuppositions about liberal and conservative were thrown out the window. I no longer could regard you as just another Kennedy. You were speaking out for so many of us, but I felt like you were the voice for me. You were saying the things I had been saying quietly, but you were saying them out loud, at great risk to your reputation, your livelihood, and your life. From that moment on, I knew something had changed. It was a realigning of heroes, as someone recently said, an assembly of a dream team against tyranny. It felt like the founders who signed the declaration, different in thought and opinions about nearly everything, but united in the belief that the inherent right of the individual was greater than the power of the state. I may never meet you, but if I have learned anything in my life, it is to say the things you want to people when you have the chance. Thank you, sir, for everything that you have stood for. Thanks for being the voice for my children when they had none. Thanks for defending the individual, for saying the things that so many of us felt and wanted to say but didn't have the platform to say it. I wish you the best of birthdays and I will continue to work to see you succeed at this endeavor of the presidency. A few of us in Colorado thought it might be nice to wish you a happy birthday and spread some gratitude your way. Rumors of this idea made their way through the channel of the internet and my inbox was flooded with messages from across the country of people who wanted to do the same. It's been a moving and profound experience to see the voices speak about you. Even to people who you do not know, you have become a family member and a friend, and the voices and faces speak very powerfully to it. So many of us are enthusiastically behind your campaign, not because it's another political season and a Kennedy is running, but because the voice that spoke for us in one of the most threatened times of liberty in our republic has once again stood up to say that with some ground and a sword, you are ready to help us take our country back. Happy birthday. Thank you for everything you are doing for all of us. Love you. Thank you so much for everything you're doing. It's really important for our country. We have a lot to look forward to if we can steer the ship correctly. And I am very confident that you are the person to do that. I'm so grateful that you are going to be our next president because now I have more hope than ever for their future, for their health and well-being, and for that of the whole planet. Thank you for your commitment to bring truth transparency and accountability to the White House. And I was standing there listening to your uncle, John F. Kennedy, tell us that the sun does not always shine in West Virginia, but the people always do. You will be so welcome here on January 27th. Thank you for your lifetime of service to the environment, this country, and its people. The protection and the courage that it takes to do the right thing, and you are awesome. God bless you because it's time to have honesty and compassion in the White House. God bless you. Thank you for doing what you're doing. Everyone so much appreciates you and loves you. Trust me, they do. And I'm so glad you're running on a platform of cleaning up the government from corporate capture. Um, from out here in Colorado, we all come from different viewpoints. We all have different things that matter to us, yet we are able to come together. A falcon spirit given to an honest man brings freedom to all. I'm really glad you're running for president so we can end U.S. involvement in foreign regime change wars. We are very, very fortunate to have you. We love you. Thank you. Voting for you, for my children and my grandchildren, so that they may have a better future with the freedoms intact that our country was founded upon. Thanking you, Mr. Kennedy, for all you're doing. It blows yeah. my mind that there is somebody like you doing what you're doing. You got my heart and my mind and my soul all the way. And I want to say thank you for being a candidate who is a man of integrity. Thank you for standing for our lives and liberties. I'm grateful that you're running for president because you're the man that will lead us to peace. 
Excited to have a president who prioritizes the health of all Americans. <laughs> Love the hope that you give to all of us. So I support Bobby Kennedy for president. He is smart and courageous. I'm thankful that you're running for the president of the United States because it gives us hope that we might actually be free from a corrupt government. When I listen to you, I hear your logic, your common sense, your intelligence. I want to thank you for helping to protect our Constitution and defend us here in the United States of America. Because of your integrity, your honesty, Passion, your love. His love of nature, his spiritual transformation, freedom from censorship. You're just our hero right now. Win this election and help us heal the divide. And everything you stand for to me is the truth and the heart of what America is. You have grit, Mr. Kennedy, and New Hampshire has your back. Happy birthday, Bobby. Happy birthday, Bobby. Happy birthday, Mr. Kennedy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mr. Kennedy. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Bobby. Happy birthday, Bobby. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Bobby. Happy birthday, Bobby Kennedy. Happy birthday, Mr. Kennedy. Happy birthday to you, my friend. I'm here to wish you a very happy 70th birthday. Hi, Bobby. Happy birthday from a boomer who's voting for you. Happy birthday, Bobby. Happy birthday, Mr. Kennedy from Salida, Colorado. Hey, Mr. Kennedy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Bobby. Wishing you a happy birthday. From all of us in Colorado, happy birthday, Bobby. Hello. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mr. Kennedy. Happy birthday, Robert F. Kennedy. Happy birthday, Bobby. Happy birthday, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Happy 70th birthday. Happy birthday, Bobby. Happy birthday, Bobby. Bobby, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mr. Kennedy. Happy birthday, Bobby. Hello, Mr. Future President, and happy birthday. I'm wishing you the happiest of birthdays. So I wish you a million more birthdays. Thank you, Bobby. Happy birthday, Bobby. Wishing you happy birthday, dear Bobby, future president.